it is time to do a top speed run and see how far we can jump the ultimate 100 horsepower micro jet boat. And my dad's even gonna take it for a rip, but first we need trim control, an air box, and a windshield. One of the problems is carburetors are wide open. Once you get a little bit of water in here from going through too many waves, it splashes about and goes into the carburetors and engines don't like water inside of them. This plan I am scrapping. That's just because there's no way to really make it fit in this space at all. I'm just gonna start over and make entirely my own air box. I'll use this as a template. They make tools for mills that can do be like an adjustable size cutter, but I don't have one, so. Whole saw it is. Dude, that little thing works really well. It really does. Now we can deburr all of the things. Look at that. I need some round aluminum stock. Can you tell we've disassembled a few snowmobiles around here? So the reason for this piece is I need to make some sleeves for these bolts because one, they need spacers because now this piece is very thin. And two, I don't really want to make this whole airbox multiple pieces. My solution is to take this and make a spacer that is also a sleeve that goes up to the top. I can make a hole in there that this socket will fit into. So that's uh, one sleeve spacery thing down and three more to go. But that works perfectly. Look at that. And then I can make my little box and then it'll just have little holes that'll fit around that. And then I can weld the top and make it all pretty. daily reminder that it is never worth it to use a dull utility knife blade for cutting cardboard. Just get a fresh one. More or less what the airbox is going to look like right there. I trimmed these down and hopefully I can make have space to put them in right here so that we have maximum airflow. Yeah, that's looking pretty sweet. I actually really like the yellow. Should be a good yeah, color for in there. Gonna look, give it a little fresh cop, pop of color underneath the hood. I've got my airbox mostly welded together. It's looking pretty sweet. Would you just look at that premium airbox? You can see it's got plenty of flow. All of these holes let air in. If anything, it's got more flow than the old one. Now water can't splash straight into the carbs. You know, in theory, it'll help uh, if there's ever a backfire, it'll just stay contained in there and it won't go whoosh inside the whole engine bay. Flame control. Part of the reason for this box is to keep a backfire from coming out the carburetor and uh, <laughs> setting your engine bay on fire. Also, that looks really cool. I am pleased with that. It's so got the grind hard touch with the street signs. Yeah, I mean, that was really the whole point here is that this build needed more street sign. This video is sponsored by Ariat. You probably noticed for the last year or so, we've all been wearing Ariat gear because it's super durable, it's super comfy, and honestly, just awesome. These are my favorite shoes now. They're kind of a moccasin style slip on shoe. Nice canvas material that doesn't melt. I wear them in the shop all the time. I call them my shop slippers. Edwin and I were ripping around on 
these little green electric bikes that go way too fast. I looped this bike going like 25 miles an hour, scraped down this giant hill in my area, denim jeans. They were totally fine, and so were my knees. So that's why I like Ariat's jeans. So as the grind hard camera guy, I don't get as dirty as the other guys. So I get to dress up for a night of Western dancing with the ladies. Yeah. But for real, this stuff is like super high quality. I really like it. I wear it all the time, not just at work. It's great. Love this stuff. As we're getting closer and closer to this thing being actually done, uh, it's finally time. Oh, that's satisfying. To put on the windows. I've been keeping them off because I knew I'd destroy them, but now there's not nearly as much welding and whatnot going on. Main goal, before we do another test drive here, get the trim under control. I've rerouted the trim cable to over here in this corner. I'm gonna make it a lever that's kind of like a throttle lever on a regular boat. Of course, the obvious choice is a sparkly purple shift knob. I've got a little piece of cardboard here and I've just kind of uh, made it about the width that I want this and then, you know, all the way back, all the way forward, center so now I can make an aluminum thing with notches at those places and then of course it'll also have a slot so that that you know can't flop around. I think this turned out pretty nice. Look at that. So I put the spring on the shaft here so that it can just slide rather than on this one because on this one it would pull from different directions. But it's super easy to just like, you know, if you wanna just play with the trim back and forth, you can as much as you want, but also it's got a detent. Next thing I'm working on on the jet boat is a new throttle because this one was, it worked, but it was like really uncomfortable to use it and it looked terrible. So um, I have the files from when I made the one for the Barbie camper. So I'm just gonna cut those out real quick and see if I can make that work. In the interest of getting the boat looking extra shiny for this next test drive, I had the idea, as I was sanding down the side here, to uh, paint the Jetstream logo, sand off the paint on the outside. And uh, we have some really very, very pink. That's working out great. Good. Yeah. to order an actual tether kill switch for this so that if you fall out, it shuts the engine off, but um, I didn't order it in time for this test drive. So I'm gonna wire up just a basic rocker switch to shut the engine off. It's the moment, Will. It's the moment. This is what we waited for. We've been waiting for this for a long time. So much easier than lifting it off of a Tesla. Huh? Well, we're out here having a pizza party on the lake because the boat is pretty much done and our YouTube Shorts channel hit 100,000. So we're celebrating that as well. We just got this fancy device from YouTube. Now that we have 100,000 on there, we need to sell Grindhard Shorts. Yes. We can't have the that name without having 
<laughs> That's true. Actual shorts. So we came out with the boat, the pizza, mm. and uh, the new Grind Hard koozies too. So, nice. Oh, you got us kombuchas? Sweet. Ready to work. <laughs> So last time we were out, I had a very unsuccessful drone situation where it just dove itself into the water. Now we're in much deeper water. So we have the boat key holder with a hair tie and Will says it's gonna work. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. Oh, we got some nice smooth water. Time to see how fast this thing will go. We got trim control. We've got an actual kill switch. Um, I've got a full tank of gas for better ballast. New thumb throttle. Oh yeah, that's, Way that's a better. big big upgrade. Most importantly, we have pink emblems. Yep, that's important. Most importantly. Oh, and a windshield. long boat so it's still a little choppy pretty hard to get up to speed without bouncing but it's so much better than it was and it's nice having trim control because you can choose if you want to go fast and smooth or if you want to go slow and hop all over the place and have fun Chew. nice oh. safe landing <laughs> that's what you want Miraculous. <laughs> it's also rare unfortunately Jump the wake? Yeah. Premium. The plan is to jump the wake of the wakeboard boat. We can make a pretty big wake here. So we're gonna start no ballast, low speed, and work our way up. So Ethan's gonna give us the signal if he wants a bigger jump. <laughs> the signal for if I want a smaller jump is I'll be sinking. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> My knees need a break, but that is way too much fun. I think you're up, Dad. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, it's not for, sh it's, it's, it's kind of a short person boat. It's a 6-2 person boat now. Okay? <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is ignition on, that's the kill switch. So that just has What's two. What's kill switch? This <laughs> black one. Okay. So. <laughs> Take long. <laughs> I like how he just sent it right away. So far, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, what do you think? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, yeah, it runs in the family. <laughs> 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 Sweatpants on a boat, dude. Well, 
Normally you ride until it's dark and then it's cold, so you put on sweatpants, but I'm just gonna sacrifice my sweatpants I'll be now. the oldest guy that ever rides that thing, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Quite likely. <laughs> I get the senior award. Why do you have sweatpants on? So to protect my knees. knees. Oh, gotcha. I mean, it'll help a little bit. Tiny bit. so much fun with the weight because normally when you're on a board you can only hit it from one direction because you're hanging yeah. onto the rope. But with yeah. this, yeah, you, you could like come this way, you could jump towards the boat. Yep. Oh, my Hulk pants are for the move though. A little bit of water in there. A six foot jet boat looks like and then the left corner we have what just a normal wakeboard boat looks 24 like. foot boat. 24 yeah. foot really? a little smaller just a little bit this is truly the power wheels of watercraft right I, there i lost the race <laughs> yeah straight up i lost the race. but you won the endurance i ran out of gas <laughs> That was fun. Yeah. That was fun. Have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> Try to save. Oh, thanks, Dad. That was so good. Thanks, Carl. Thanks for taking us out fun. on the boat. Good we'll we'll time. We'll Carl, good we'll to see you. God bless. This is my dad, and I'm helping him start his own channel. He is a uh, retired person who's living the dream, just cutting down trees and turning them into boards. Check out Carl's place. Carl's time. Carl's time, yeah. <laughs> the links below. The first video just came out. It's going to be an epic channel. Epic. Yep. Same Excellent. North Idaho beauty you're used to, just in a different way. <laughs> Peace. Have a good one, Carl. Bye, Carl.